What were you gonna say? Yeah, uh... It would be stupid if he was let by police. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, wait, you, you see a hole in the ceiling. He just, just gets fucking... <laughs> he just gets pulled to the fuck up. What, Monokuma uses fucking god powers to do that or something? Like, I don't know. What? How? If the dead body were to move itself. Oh yeah, that's right, because he wasn't dead around that time. The, the dead body mo moved on its own? <laughs> no, not another. <laughs> That's right, bitches. I never die. <laughs> I don't think it has anything to do with the. Equipment. My wheat energy keeps me alive till the rest of time. And did you know I'm also Christian? I have the power of God and anime on my side. <laughs> In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Anime. <laughs> <laughs> he just snaps his finger. <laughs> yeah, the game ends. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> we thought that Fumi was dead, but perhaps in reality he was still alive. He was alive? Are you saying Hifumi wasn't carried out of the nurse's office, but simply walked out on his own? But I mean, we found his body. He was dead. Perhaps he was simply playing dead. Oh yeah, because then he would clean his glasses. That... it isn't possible. Possible. Yes it is. None of these work. So, well, you don't Are know until you. That when we first That's fair. Found Hifumi in the nurse's office, there's a chance he was actually still alive. No, it is impossible. Hifumi was dead, without a doubt. And you know that how? Surely you heard the body discovery announcement along with the rest of us. What's this less? Fumi's body disappeared. Apparently, they weren't gone for a minute or two. That would be enough time for him to. Yeah, he could just run off there. Hifumi's dead body had been found, and that is why the announcement was made. Are we really so sure about that? Maybe the announcement was intended to signal someone else's discovery. No, yeah, I'm being stupid. Yeah, <laughs> I'm not dumb. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm not a lawyer. Even if I was a lawyer, I wouldn't know what I'm doing. Office. Yeah, I probably should There's wait till I'm Yeah, I do. Okay, I can. This works. In the nurse's office. There's a chance he was actually still yes. alive. Correct. True. It is impossible. He for me was dead, without a doubt. And you know that how? Surely you heard the body discovery announcement along with the rest of us. Hifumi's dead body had been found. There I go. Yeah, these are getting harder. Yeah. Was the body discovery announcement that was made really intended for Hifumi? Of course it was. The announcement played right after we discovered his body. Maybe. But that was also the same time that Taka's body was found. That's right. It wasn't long after finding his body that we heard the announcement. So there's a good chance we've made a mistake in there somewhere. I think we've confused whether the announcement was for Hifumi or Taka. First of all, if two bodies had been found, there really should have been two announcements. Maybe Monokuma simply got lazy and rolled them together into one. What do you say, Monokuma? Any comment? Well, it's a very sensitive issue, so I can't go into too much detail. But what I can say about the body discovery announcement is that it's only broadcast when three or 
four people find a dead body for the first time? That didn't answer our question, man. We're asking if you're a lazy bum. No, actually, that was plenty. Huh? He said it's only broadcast when a body is discovered for the first time. Which means, even if we find the same body again later, he won't make the announcement again. If that's true, then why was the announcement made again later on? Huh? Later on? Exactly. We heard the body discovery announcement twice. Okay, body discovery. Let's yes. see. Equipment room. When? Both bodies were... I got it! We heard it a second time in the repository when we rediscovered the two bodies. A body has been discovered! Go solve a murder, fuckers! It didn't seem weird at the time, but it contradicts what Monokuma just told us, doesn't Wait, it? Wait, like, one of the bodies... Oh no, stop. <laughs> exactly. If we were actually rediscovering both bodies, the announcement shouldn't have played. And in reality, when the two dead bodies were rediscovered, one of them was actually being discovered for the first time. So, when we found Hifumi the first time in the nurse's office, he wasn't actually dead yet. Meaning, he wasn't actually found dead until we came upon him in the repository. And that's just part of it. There's one other thing that leads me to believe he was still alive in the nurse's office. logic I have ever heard. But honestly, I do not think there's anything that can prove he was still alive. Okay then, oh, bitch. let's take another look at the events surrounding the discovery of his body. Then it should become clear whether he was really alive or not. This whole thing is pointless. There has to be proof. There is glasses. Where is it? There it is. His glasses. Here's one thing we do know. The first time we found Hikumi's body was in the nurse's office. Yeah. And then, while me and Celeste were in the bathroom, his body disappeared. And the next time we saw his body, it was in the repository. But when you compare his body before being moved and his body after being moved, other than the change in how it was positioned, Oh wait, no. There was no, no wait, oh, shit. Yeah, if you were a little too quick. Fuck. About to die, bro. Yeah, I know. <laughs> You're about to be fucking did. lynched. The first time oh god, I'm gonna have to do this all again, won't I? No. No? If you die, just restart the last minute. Oh. So if you die here, you just restart from the start of the fucking. Oh, okay. And the next time we saw his body, it was in the repository. But when you compare his body before being moved, and his body after being moved, other than the change in how it was positioned... Okay, so yeah, um, can I pause over here? I, f I misheard her, which is what happened. Okay. Yeah. There was no notable difference. There it is. Bitch. No, it's wrong. I like how it just flips over the body. Like, oh! <laughs> In fact, that's some good butter. One oh, that's, that's a nice. Fumi in the nurse's oh. office in the repository. <laughs> oh. His glasses. That fact alone proves that he was only playing dead in the beginning. Perhaps you'd like to fill the rest of us in. When we found Kifumi in the nurse's office, his glasses were covered with blood. But when we found him again later in the repository, they were spotless. And I found the item he used to wipe them clean in the nurse's office trash can. I wonder what it could possibly be. There is it. There it is. I got it. Ah. It was a glasses cleaning cloth featuring a certain cartoon mascot. We could just come back to life again. It's called anime, you bitch. <laughs> it's called anime and it's a culture. 
This piece of cloth is oh, used to wipe the is art. clean. <laughs> and the mascot on the cloth is the same one that's on the digital camera, right? And whose digital camera was it? He proves, of course. The character was... Yeah, no. <laughs> How do you remember that? <laughs> Unless one of y'all are a closet weeaboo. Will anyone raise their hands? <laughs> oh, the I wouldn't be caught dead using a tacky piece of garbage like that. I will use my standard Rick and Morty cleaning cloth. Bought from Walmart.com. Buy it now for $17.99. <laughs> mm, mm. So what you're saying is... What exactly? What I'm saying is, the blood on his glasses was wiped away using his own glasses cleaning cloth. Even if that is true, it does not mean he wiped the blood off himself. I mean, hey. But who would benefit from a clean pair of glasses other than the glasses owner? That's a good point. People with OCD? Sure. Fuck. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about. That one scene! Fucking oh. gets super fed up with, oh. the, with that song. And it must have been him. And then he starts kicking the guy's ass again. So let's assume that Hifumi was still alive in the nurse's office. He pretends to be dead. Then when he's alone, he wipes his glasses clean so he can see. Then he stands up and walks out on his own two feet. And with that, the impossible task of moving his copious corpse becomes possible, wouldn't you say? Did you just call him that? Yes. Yes. <laughs> if he was just pretending to be dead. What was with all that blood? Was it paint or something? Abdobismal! Like I've been saying this whole time! Blood for emergencies. He probably used one of those. He figured if he was gonna play dead, he should go all out. So he just dumped it everywhere! But he got crazy with it and had to wipe his glasses off when he was done! God, what an idiot! And if Hifumi was still alive at that point, the disappearance of Taka's body is easily explained. It should be perfectly obvious who must have moved Taka's corpse. Was... Taka. <laughs> Taka! Yes, the guy who died beforehand! Hold on. Who moved Taka's body? Taka? No, no, no. Taka's body. Who moved Taka's body to the repository? That would be. See, we. The body discovery announcement yeah. played when found Taka dead. But if Ubi wasn't dead yet. Fumi. Fumi. Yeah, okay. So who um, Fumi was the one who moved back his body. I'm having a brain for no, oh, we okay. were we were paying attention, we're talking about fucking Yeah <laughs> stupid shit. While we were all gathered in the nurse's office, he went to the equipment room and took Taka's body. That also explains how the door to the repository got locked. The door was locked? Well, after the bodies disappeared. We all went looking for him, right? So me and Sakura headed for the repository. But when we got there, the door was locked. And the repository door can only be locked from the inside. Which means, when Hina and Sakura got to the repository, someone was already inside. And it could only have been Hikumi, who just finished stashing Taka's body there. He convinced us all he was dead. And when he saw his chance, he dragged Taka's body to the repository. So, Kifumi wasn't just another victim in this case. He was one of the assailants. But that means he took part in the murders. I just yeah. can't believe it. Come back to the end! If you're having trouble, would you like me to show you one more piece of evidence? Oh, you see how it's added up now? There's more? Oh, absolutely. The single biggest fact pointing to his involvement has yet to be revealed. You know what I'm talking about, right Makoto? The item he took off of Taka's lifeless body? Don't be... Watch, but no, his watch is on. Oh, his watch is on him. Oh, Hifumi took something out of Taka.
probably not here. Yeah, very, very clear. Very. Oh, the note. Okay. Thing that he's... Let's go back to it. Uh. No, you put me up, right? Yeah. Again. There we go. You're talking about the note Yukumi had hidden away, aren't you? Um, hidden note? That's right. We found it stuffed in his pants. What? In his pants? Yes. Yes. <laughs> his pants. Yes, indeed. Okay, well, forget about the pants for now. Take a look at what the note says. I was telling you about the one that told me where to go. Huh? Wait, this one's a little different. In my note it said, Monokuma can't find out, so don't tell anyone else for now. Let's meet in the rec room at 1 a.m. I see. Then this note isn't the same one Hero got. It's not the same? In other words, the killer got in touch with another person besides Hero. And that person could only have been... The Fubi's pants! Actually, no. Taka, right? I got it! Yeah. That's right! Taka! The killer used this note to draw out Taka and murder him. Hello! Over here! Objection! Objection! Oh, Phoenix, right? I don't really understand what's going on, but Kifumi had that letter, right? So whoever wrote it wasn't drawing out TikTok, they were drawing out Huffy! Um, just to be clear, TikTok is Taka and Huffy is Kifumi, right? Oh, yes! Why must you ruin it every time? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, another rim game? Hell with some fucking rave music. Oh. Jesus Christ, okay. <laughs> Hold on. Glasses, cleaning cloth, broken wristwatch, blue tarp, glasses, butler's hand. Puppy had the note, right? Then the person it was intended for, Kifumi, was Taka. Then Taka was Taka. But remember what the note said. What time did it say to me? 6 a.m. What has nothing to do with I mentioned this note, I feel like that's the key. I probably have to take something. There's nothing adds up. So it has to do with time. Yes. So it's rich a lot of treasure. I want you to check the best watch actually. What's your Broken and past 6 o'clock, it was confirmed that it was day as night, but the watch still worked. Working the following morning, still. But remember what, six. what time did it say to me? 6 a.m. I believe. Correct. The time doesn't matter. The note has nothing to do with TikTok. That. <laughs> I got six minutes, so I, I'm... <laughs> it's so obvious! <laughs> you already knew it! So, this is wrong then? Yes, it is wrong! You're overthinking. This? You're overthinking. Is it this? I don't understand! Listen! Listen! Yes! yes. Just, just, just what? 6 a.m. The time doesn't matter. It has nothing to do with fucking. Oh my god! Wow! Wow! Fox says 6 a.m. They got. Note said 6 a.m. Look! Oh! Look! I I got a pen. I got an apple. Murder! Wait! Shit! Why is it on auto? There we go. 6 a.m. Which is the same time Taka was. I got a note. I got a watch. Be hard. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 
I'm overthinking things because, like, oh, I had a copy shit now. I guess I got a copy of pretty much anything that doesn't fit. Ah. 6 a.m. when Taka was murdered. He's already proven that using his wristwatch. But there's more. Look where the note says to me. The equipment room, right? Which is where Taka was killed. I see. So, Taka was murdered at both the time and place written in the note. I think that should be plenty to show that this note was definitely meant for Taka. Someone used that note to trick Taka. Just the same as me. <sighs> the culprit really is a cold-blooded monster. Telling people they found a way out. But if they gave the note to Taka, what was Hifumi doing with it? Stuffed down his pants, no less! I stopped talking about his fucking pants. Most likely. Hifumi stole it off Taka's corpse after he died. Huh? He stole it? Where's your proof? Go ahead, show us. Proof that he truly stole the note from Taka. I, 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 uh... I got it. When I searched Taka's body, I saw that his lifeless hand was gripping a small scrap of paper. If I'm right about this, the sheet of paper this piece came from is. I knew it. It fits perfectly with the note we found hidden on Hifumi. Wow, the square goes into the square shaped hole. Hmm. Yup, they're from the same piece of paper. Kifumi had the note meant for Taka, while Taka's corpse still grasped a small piece of that note. There is only one way to explain it. Taka died clutching the note. Kifumi tried to free the note from his death grip, leaving behind only one death small grip. scrap. Did I get oh, all that right? Oh, I'm not even. I don't say what I'm doing. knew the note was important. Exactly. Which proves that he was an accomplice in the murder. Whoa. Yeah. After seeing all this, Hifumi was super involved in this whole thing for sure. In fact, he was behind the whole thing. In fact, he's still alive. <laughs> <laughs> I understand I'm overthinking. I understand I'm overthinking things. But this... This is something else! Do you mean he's still alive? Sorry, no. <laughs> when we found him in the repository, Hifumi was truly and completely dead. The second body discovery announcement proves that. transporting Taka's body. So, he must have been killed after Taka's body vanished, but before we found both bodies in the repository. During that time, we'd all split up and were searching for Taka's missing body. In other words, during that time, none of us have alibis. Wait, but me and Sakura were together. Stop trying to steal the spotlight, you stupid walrus! Who are you calling a walrus? Anyway, when they were killed bothers me, too. But there's something that's been bothering me even more. And what might that be? The weapon they used to kill Hifumi. The weapon? Yeah. Because, I mean, according to the Monokuma file, the way Taka and Hifumi were killed was almost the same, with them having similar fractures and all. But Justice Hammer 3 and 4 were still laying around in the nurse's office and equipment room, right? Yeah. yeah. Oh, sure. Get it later. Ah. And put goes. Actually, so right. So if Fumi was killed in the repository, the culprit would have had to grab one of the hammers. Kill Hifumi, 
then put the hammer back where they found it. But wouldn't that be seriously risky for him? I'm surprised. It seems there's some semblance of a brain <laughs> I'm surprised. around that. You were intelligent. After all. Of what? Hell How? Yeah, it's packed in there good and tight. With weed bundled in with it. What? 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 Here you go. I don't <laughs> understand it all. either. Like fucking candy at a parade. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> The Monokuma file makes it clear that they were killed using similar instruments. But if the hammers were already laying around those other rooms... So the question is, how could the culprit have gotten their hands on either of the hammers? Personally, I haven't a clue. So which hammer was used to attack Celeste? Number one or number two? Those were accounted for in other rooms too. And I don't think either one is big enough to kill someone. Um, then, uh... Is it not possible they used a different weapon? I don't think it is possible. They were both killed with the same kind of thing, right? So then, what was used to kill Hifumi? Weapon that was yes. actually used. The whole picture. I'm clear. Find that out. Find the oh, truth. I can't just show it? Oh my god, okay. Make your argument, boy. Spotless hammer, there we go. What was used to kill Hifumi? Was it Justice Hammer 3? Maybe Do that, Justice or... Justice Hammer 4? Well, whatever it oh, was... Got like There's seven minutes. We have to figure out. How was the culprit able to move around so freely with the weapon? How did nobody witness them carrying it? Sure. What? Check out murdergear.com slash hammer time for more. <laughs> <laughs> I want to see if it's an actual website. Oh my the god. Oh yeah, no. I'm sorry, hero. It's only your holies wrong. <laughs> yeah, hero's the top. <laughs> Damn it. If no, hero speaks. Was something wrong. <laughs> that's why he's so that's why he's so important. Because everything he says is the opposite. But, seriously? A different weapon? Wait a minute, if everything he says is opposite, doesn't that mean and I got uh, my fortune re- If this is wrong? Well, he has a 30% chance of getting it right. Well, so who knows? Wait, does that mean also, uh, with, this, with his thing uh, saying that the murder weapon was different, was his 30% chance of getting it right? I mean, I guess it's not technically a prediction. Specifically, a hammer from the repository. The killer could have easily used that to kill Hifumi. Now, all the hammers in the repository were covered in flecks of grit and debris, but for some reason, one of them had been scrubbed clean. Huh? And the reason I'm, 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 I'm sorry, but those hammers don't look like they can actually kill people. Murder. Uh, they, they're like, they look like fucking, like, monsters. <laughs> yeah, actually, like, oh my god. If the hammer got covered in Hifumi's blood, of course they'd have to clean it off. I'd also like to point out that- Actually, no, maybe that one might be able to yeah. kill someone. Just look at that in comparison to this. And <laughs> body. Yeah. And yeah. even some flat mallet-like ones. I think whoever made the justice hammers used those as a basis for their design. I mean, look, there's like, there's four of them missing. Oh, I wonder. If that's true, that would explain the Monokuma file's note about the wounds being similar. So Hifumi moved Taka's body to the repository, where someone then used a hammer to kill him. And whoever did that is the true killer. The one Hifumi was working with. And the one who betrayed him. Hold on a moment. I still think it's strange to assume someone was working together with him. The way the graduation rule works, there is no benefit to helping someone else carry out a murder. No, she's right. Unless you want that person. So the idea that anyone would work together like that is simply ludicrous. We talked about this, did we not? We did talk about how there wouldn't be a reason for anyone to work together. At least that's what I thought at first, but... Or spinning in circles, we. <laughs> okay, well, now I don't know what's happening. Probably have to copy something. 
based on the rules that have been laid out for us, even if more than one person is complicit in the murder, only the one who actually carried out the act can graduate and survive. Assuming the rule holds true, it is simply impossible that two people work together on this. That is how the rule was explained to us. But that only really applies if there's one murder, right? In this case, however, there were two murders. Oh, two. Yeah, it was that one though, right? Yeah, yeah, that's good. Let's fast forward. Uh, I that. Four times that I don't need. Yay! Fuck it, I need all the time. Yeah, I was doing that all the time just so I could get the issue. Oh, we're getting like 500. Which isn't hard. Because you keep doing it all the time. Though. Yeah. Even if more than one person is complicit, only the one who actually carried out the act can graduate and survive. Assuming the rule holds true. Bitch! No, it's wrong. <laughs> Imagine every time he fucking counters someone, he actually pulls a gun and shoots them. <laughs> did, yeah, we made this joke in Oh, yeah, we bullets, did. Bullets, yeah. Oh, fuck! What the fuck, man? One person was involved. How, many bullet, how many bullet wounds does the hero have at this point? I don't know. Pretty sure it would just be rubber bullets. But just like be like pink. Oh, like assassination. Yeah. What do you mean? If there'd only been one murder, then yes, the idea of an accomplice isn't really. No, I just realized how similar the art style for assassination classroom really is. This one? The dang and Rafa, yeah. Just a bit, yeah. Naturally, if only one person can be saved per murder, an accomplice has no risk versus reward benefit. No. Nope. Nope. Also, let's stop. Let's stop right here. Oh. I need. Okay. What's that one character? The character with the red hair in Fascination Classroom, the crazy ass one. Uh, the one that like got like suspended for yes like, being up a teacher. Yes. Um, what was his name? Forget his name, but as soon as as soon as he fucking tried like got into class, like okay, I'm just gonna jump off a cliff now. Yeah. <laughs> There is a character very similar to him in the sequel. Really? End of this game. Wow. Even worse, actually. It's worse. But it's the same energy. So, I just... Uh, something. Something I'll have to keep your mind on. Also, interesting thing. Is it in Dang Rap is kind of similar to uh, Assassination Classroom. But I haven't heard of Assassination Classroom in a while. It's a bit similar, yeah. Mostly when, uh... When Koro Sensei's like doing fast shit or something. I'll look it up, I don't know, it's probably yeah. not. No, it's kinda is a bit. Probably not the same fucking no guy. I doubt it, no but it sounds a bit similar. However, if there were some potential mutual reward for the risk, then cooperation becomes possible. You're saying that two people could act as each other's accomplices to commit two separate murders. I think that's what the true killer told Hibumi. They would each have an accomplice for their crime. And based on the case's events, Hibumi would have been the first one to act, murdering Taka. So the drum is going off right now. Whoever's yeah. <laughs> 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 the drum is going So Hibumi killed Taka. Yeah. And then Hifumi himself got killed. So in this case, there wasn't one single person committing multiple murders. Instead, each person killed someone, creating two separate incidents. And it only looked like one person because that's how the true killer designed it to look. A single suspicious individual, a similar weapon used in each crime, disappearing bodies. By creating one seamless set of circumstances, they made it look like one person was behind it all. The mastermind picked their target and managed to convince him to go along with their plan. And then to avoid the no accomplices rule, they simply killed their accomplice. Which, if true, means that betraying Hifumi was part of the plan from the very beginning. That, that's just awful. How could anyone be so cruel? So? It's a Fumi though. <laughs> Is there any loss though? Yeah. Their choice of accomplice seems odd. 
that means the main character took time. Not from beginning. Which is why she said not to look at this series as a connected events, but entirely separate incident. Yoko's really amazing, although when you think about it, she's almost too amazing. Like almost unnatural how she could how good she is at, at this. I understand how an accomplice could be involved, but then who was the one pulling Hifumi's strings? That's problem numero uno right now! But who killed Hifumi and manipulated him? Working together. If Hifumi wasn't dead, Well, because when Celestin uh, left to go to the bathroom, Hifumi had left. Walked up, yeah. Yeah. So it'd be <laughs> but that's still funnier. <laughs> <laughs> like Jesus carrying the cross with Hifumi. <laughs> God. Just T posing. <laughs> fuck. How? How the fuck is he this heavy? <laughs> the um, true killer manipulated Hifumi to carry out a number of actions and in the end murdered him. In the debates up till now, the way the cases have unfolded, when you consider all that, it's really all one person who did. Who is the killer? It would be Celeste, wouldn't it? For... Provide reasoning. I can't select, um... This uh, this takes, just takes a life away, okay? Don't pick right, yeah. So right. who do you think it is? Who is the person? LEON! No! <laughs> It'll be uh, worse. So Jill is so. If fine. someone were to manipulate and then kill Hifumi, who would be who would match up in that? Most likely, obviously, obviously. If we're looking. I'm not too sure, but I'm learning on time, so I'm gonna kill whoever I think. Here's my answer. By God. <laughs> I, th it was I think it's kind of obvious the yeah. way she's been acting the whole chapter. As well, yes. Uh, so I'm the suspicious individual now, and am I? if you think about it, yeah. if she's the one who wanted to go to the bathroom, right, and Greg brought Hina with her, that would give Hifumi a perfect chance to leave. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I really do hate this kind of joke. A joke? I wonder... So what you are saying, then, is that I specifically chose to work together with Hifumi. Oh my god, okay, by the way, the idea yeah. that I would choose in the to last part, remember when you were like, oh, with him. you know, what if in, like, one of the next games, there's a case where, uh, someone kills, someone kills a person, and then another person kills the guy who killed them? Yeah. You fucking called it. Yeah. <laughs> like, no, seriously, I was so fucking, like, done. When I heard you say that, I fucking wrote this <laughs> on my fucking phone because I couldn't. I wanted to scream. I wanted to fucking scream <laughs> because not only did you call it, you called it so specifically down to the entire fucking twist. You called the whole twist. <laughs> I am so scared because this is the most complex. Well, not no, not the most complex. One of the most complex. The second most complex case in this game, and Why? in the second and third games, they gave me more complex. So, are you gonna fucking like predict the shit that's going on in the, in the next two games, or fucking shit's going all over the place? My God, no, I'm done. <laughs> this is a fucking galaxy brain. <laughs> Okay. Did go within 10 feet of that shit from brain fat, lazy, worthless, goddamn idiot? Oh, Jesus Christ. Now keep going <laughs> off. Calm down. <laughs> Bring me no. Keep going off. Uh, 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 Just to be clear, there is evidence to support it. Is that so? It is. Throughout the investigation, there was certain behavior that was common only to the two of you. Considering what we've learned so far, it only further proves that the two of you were working together. What if Fumi and Celeste had in common? Uh, gathering? Yeah. Stop talking about his pants! The game, the game really has an obsession with Fumi's pants. Fumi's pants. Definitely. Definitely. The pants. The pants. The pants. The 
only ones who ever actually saw Robo Justice firsthand were Celeste and Buffoon. Shush, the adults are talking now. <laughs> Sorry. And then it's just the next slide. It's just Biaki had to be as he said, only Celeste oh and Hifumi ever laid eyes on the costumed individual. It's just a shitty 3D model. Oh. If we accept that Hifumi was one of the culprits, we can't help but suspect what Celeste has said as well. Are you saying everything they told us was a lie? After taking Hifumi to the nurse's office, we all began our search for this individual, correct? And not too long after that, do you remember what Celeste said? I saw a shadow of the hedgehog! <laughs> Moving around the top of the stairs! Speed of light! We headed to the second floor specifically because of what she claimed to have seen. Next, to draw us all to the physics lab up on the third floor, she let out a blood curdling scream. And when we'd all come to see what was wrong, what was it she said? That was a rather intense. Nice. Son, get out of the hedgehog! No! Ran off as soon as I screamed! He can't get away with being racist! <laughs> Once she'd done her job of getting us all up to the physics. This is our headcanon. There's just a there's Shadow the Hedgehog just running around as some omniscient person. Oh my hedgehog. god, stop! <laughs> stop! <laughs> you know oh my god. What? Can I tell. Did I already tell you about the fucking Sonic record? Oh? Monica was like, I hate that stupid hedgehog! With his rings, and his all his games and shit, and his popularity! And you know what's really fucking meta? What? Remember when the when the uh, fucking Sonic voice, like the Eggman, Sonic, and Shadow voice actors were. Okay. Like responding to tweets? Alright. They responded to that fucking line from the. Really? It's just, it's too meta at this point. <laughs> And it was time for her partner no. to get to work. <laughs> it's canon. It's actually canon that they and Rumpa and Sonic are connected. God. So Shadow is in the Dick and Rumpa universe. <laughs> <laughs> in a canonical fashion. How many times are we going to see this scene? Because it's an important scene! We need to keep doing flashbacks and flashbacks! We need know? to keep seeing Celeste <laughs> saying, <"Nigh> yeah! <laughs> so that we would discover both bodies at the same time? In fact, Celeste was precisely. You have to admit, this is a really smart plan. This split up. Yeah. It's how to be super calculated. Then why don't we split into two groups? I'll lead the hunting party. That seems much more. Come on, Makoto, get your shotgun. Let's go hunting. <laughs> well, if Celeste and Hifumi were working together, all those chance events suddenly become connected. And on top of that, that piercing cry of yours early on. That's not really piercing, that's more like a. Ah! <laughs> Oh no! That was to signal Hifumi, wasn't it? It was your way of telling him we were on the What time were we at anyway? Everything's going according oh. to plan. Yeah, uh, we can still go. Yeah. Yep. Why oh, right. else would you let out a scream that could have carried across the sea? I just realized another strange thing. When we found Hifumi in the nurse's office, who we now know was only pretending to be dead. I did not imagine that Hifumi be murdered. Celeste, you were the first one to say he'd been murdered. You wanted to make sure we wouldn't have any doubt in our minds. I... I don't believe it! Everything... the whole thing was one big act! Hina, you were with Celeste when Hifumi's body disappeared, right? Yeah. I was feeling kind of sick, so Celeste took me to the bathroom. Wait! Then that was... She wasn't worried about you. She just saw a chance to help Hifumi sneak out of the nurse's yep. office. Yeah. Each piece isn't much by itself, 
but start putting them together and the picture gets very ugly indeed. So it's a little wild goose chase. Like, oh, fuck you. Oh. <laughs> anyway. Okay. Back it's all a wild goose chase pretty much. Yep. I have no idea what you mean. Okay, I'm playing dumb. Don't bother trying to deny it. Because I have this new updated autopsy room that proves you're the killer. <laughs> I didn't even catch it myself when you first said it, but looking back, I can say that that one little slip up was your undoing. What are you talking about? I'm talking about what you said after Hifumi's body disappeared and we returned to the nurse's office. They must really be enjoying this. Enjoying the sight of us standing around, frightened and We're all going to die here. We're going to die just like those guys died. I remember her saying that too, but I don't understand what's so strange about it. Then pay attention. Sakura, Toko, and I were first to discover Taka's body in the equipment room. Then Makoto showed up and told us Hifumi had been killed. So Sakura and I left with Makoto. Once we were in the hall, we ran into Celeste, and the four of us headed to the nurse's office. Now, the entire time we were together, none of us said anything about Taka being dead. Think about it. Celeste's comment doesn't make sense. It was completely out of place. Yeah, I see what you're talking about. Although I don't really get what it means. I know what you're talking about. I don't know what you're talking about. I get it. <laughs> no, I don't. I don't get it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this John's so Yeah. I was having some trouble understanding. Could you repeat what you said? If you're really not the culprit, you shouldn't have any problem repeating it, right? Yaki has said this a less common doesn't make sense. What's he alluding to? Brave time, boys! Your argument! Ambush, Wanakuma. Probably in your account. All I said was. Double date. Or gone a minute or two. Well, no, what's it supposed to do? They must no. really be enjoying this. Enjoying the sight of us. Standing around, frightened and confused. We must be positively elated. We are all going to die here. Hold on. We are going. Not all of us are going to die. No, we're again. overthinking it again. Yeah, we're going to die just like those guys died. And that is all I oh, said. Okay. And that's all it takes to finish this. If what was so strange about Celeste's comment? No? Okay. What? What are you trying to do? I was kind of copy what is so strange. Copy it. Is it bad though? Put on auto. Oh shit, yeah. Sorry, I forget, you have to click. Do what you think you gotta really do. Be enjoying this. Figure it out. Enjoying the sight of us standing around, frightened and confused. That's not really a problem. They must be positively elated. We are all going to die here. We are going to die. Just like those guys died. And that is all I said. And that's all it takes to finish this. It's obvious, isn't it? What was so strange about Celeste's comment? Art Sands. I'm down. Hands that twerk. No! No! <laughs> You're not drawing that. You're not drawing that now. No. I'm going to stop you. <laughs> I know you draw something like that. Oh god. Yes, you are right, because I literally drew one Isabel with a shotgun before Doom 20 and, uh, <laughs> Doom Eternal. Yeah, Doom Eternal was announced. And I also drew Ash Ketchum with a ball thing. <laughs> With the what? Oh, with the bald very, head? Yeah, oh, with the bald head with the receding hairline. Stop. Stop it. Oh. <laughs> Alright, what's so strange about her comments? They must really be enjoying that strange. this. Enjoying the sight of us standing around. Oh, no. Confused. They must be positively elated. We are all going to die here. That's fine. We are going to die. 
Just like there we go. No, Guess who no. shouldn't have known that Taka was dead? Because they didn't mention anything about it and just must him find wrong. the body. There's no reason, so yeah, that makes so sense. she slipped just up. Like those guys Dumbass. Did. Like the butter boy. Mondo. Yeah, the butter boy. <laughs> when she said that, none of us had told her Taka was dead. Exactly. And we didn't run into her until after we were all out in the hall. So why didn't you say that first? <laughs> chance for her to have seen his body in the well, actually, for that percent. first, though. Or, guilty. I guess so, yeah. So how did you know, Celeste? How did you know more than one person had been killed? And how did you know they were both guys? Because Kyoko had also disappeared, right? So she could have been dead, too. You all have such vivid imaginations, you know that? Imaginations? You claim that I was lying when I told you about the suspicious person I saw. Then what about the picture I took? Well, diverting the fucking conversation. How do you explain this picture of the costumed villain dragging Hifumi away? It, it has to be some kind of setup, right? So let's put the suit on, and then... Then she used the camera's timer to... to... set up the picture! Oh, that's actually me. Oh, we found costume. Girl's room. But it could just been the dismantled costume. Have you so quickly forgotten? You are the only one who could have possibly fit into that suit! Plus, I happen to know that this particular camera does not have a timer. In other words, it is an unassailable fact that this is a picture of Hifumi being dragged away. If oh. everything I told you was a lie, how can this picture exist? Simple. Are we sure that's really a picture of the suspect dragging Hifumi away? What could you possibly mean by that? Surely there are other explanations than the one you've offered up. No, there is no other explanation. There is no other way! Question was probably just other explanation. Was well, it a picture of the suspect dragging Hifumi away? The only other possibility is Hifumi the suspect is dragging the suspect away. He does. Everything else makes no sense. Yeah. <laughs> it's not a picture of the suspect dragging Hifumi away. I would say it's a picture of Hifumi dragging the suspect away. But it might be better. That's certainly within the realm of possibility. He just went full, co full Bill Cosby in his ass. Yeah. Rufy didn't even drag him away. The one being dragged off in that picture isn't Hifumi, but the person in the robot suit. We've simply been led to believe that it's the other way around. And the strange costume might only exist to lead us astray even farther. If you saw someone wearing something like that in this situation, of course you'd notice and be suspicious. That's what happened! You put me to sleep and made me out to be the bad guy in all this! <laughs> Such a thing is utterly impossible. Hifumi was dragging him away? Ridiculous. Is it? I don't think it's ridiculous at all. Then shut your mouth and allow me to educate you. Yes, <laughs> wow. But yeah, he was knocked out, so. Beat him up. And then we're gonna drag him away into the locker, right? Yeah. Is that there's a costume or the. No, not the <sighs> things. You dressed me up in that suit after I passed out. Then you just drape me across the foo me and had him carry my weight. You tried to make me look like the bad guy. Like I said, ridiculous. As you can see in the picture, the suspect is standing perfectly upright. If the person inside the suit was unconscious, there's no way they could stand up straight like that. It's those two. No, I was just getting involved in this one. Okay. In that, it's definitely a contradiction to what Buster's trying to claim. Yeah. You dressed me up in that suit after I passed out. 
Then you just drape me across and threw me at you. No hammer, no hammer, you hammer. You tried to make me look like a bad guy. Like yeah, like I said, that's a cut. No, 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 it's this. As you can see in the picture, the suspect is standing perfectly upright. If the person inside the suit was unconscious, there's no way they could stand up straight. Like and we already yeah. know that he can't bend. That's fair. So we'll just keep straight up like that. No. Even if the person inside the suit were unconscious, they could still stand up like that. Because that Robo Justice suit had a certain characteristic. The anti rapist. <laughs> The suit was designed from the beginning to be used the way it was. <laughs> hey, this right. Oh, this right. Oh, no. Celeste and Hifumi took the suit they'd specially designed and stuffed Hiro into it. That's how they were able to fake that whole thing. The point of it all was to make us believe whoever was in the suit was to blame. <laughs> calm down, calm down. Well done. No, 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 no. This is checkmate. No. Check it. <laughs> <Whoa. the> camera. <laughs> We're spinning. Don't make me laugh, you idiot. Woo! Checkmate! Jesus. Celeste? Clearly, you want to cram me into your little guilty box. Well, one little problem. Have you already forgotten what Hifumi told us as he lay dying? Her, her accent is like, is gone. It's like half gone. Who be who's attacking you? Who tried to kill you? Killed me. Try to remember the name. That's the. When we asked him who had attacked him, his answer was quite clear, was it not? This is so high. <laughs> I know. He's so angry. <laughs> no. I am perfectly fine. I'm just. Perfectly good. He said, and I quote, Yasuhiro. <laughs> God. Yeah, but we already <laughs> proved that you two were working together. Yasuhiro Hagakurai! Voice actor for this game are great. It's actually Taro. <laughs> what? Your confusing statements don't make any sense. You're only making things more complicated. He did say Yasuhiro. But are we sure he was really pointing the finger at Hero? What the hell are you talking about? I'll burn you alive! Kyoko, what do you mean by that? Think back to how Hifumi used to talk to us. How did he refer to each of us? The people's last names. Yep. I got it! That's right! Like Mr. Naegi. Hi. Yeah. It's all by our last names. Exactly. And I know I yeah. didn't say Mr. Nayagi more than once, for example. So if Hifumi did mean to say Hiro's name, he would have said his last name, Kagakura. I'm sure it was just incidental. By chance, he just his first name. Indecent? Don't talk. <laughs> <laughs> so <laughs> so smooth that one. No. There's no reason to think he would have said the name any different than normal. But he must have run out of energy before he could say any more. So Hifumi was trying to tell us the last name of whoever killed him? But the name he said doesn't apply to anyone here. Well, no. Hold on. There's one person it could apply to. And that's Celeste. She never actually told us what her real name is. <laughs> What did you just say? To think you'd take your false accusation so far, I don't know whether to laugh or spit. Come on, enough with your idiotic blather. Yasuhiro is a loser's name. Do I look like a loser to you? Yes. Well, you are losing right now. I... What? I think I've earned the right to be a little on edge. Okay, then fill us in. What's your real name? 
Make sure your ear holes are wide open and listen up! My real name is Celestia Ludenberg. Could you please stop making me repeat myself over and over again? I still don't give up, so then I have to do something or accept it. It's the e handbook, isn't it? Okay. There's, there it is! There we are! We got this! The Fumi was trying to tell us something. He wanted us to know the killer's last name, Yasuhiro. If there's one person here who might have that last name... It would have to be you, Celeste. You haven't told anyone what your real name is. Oh, we got you here? Yeah, you. just the fence off. <laughs> How long do you plan to go on pretending? I'm not pretending. It's the truth. And since you have no way to contact Oh, I wonder what it is though. Uh, blood! <laughs> no, it's wrong. The thing with millions of fucking protection. Just... <laughs> That's it. The handbook. What? Anytime you turn your handbook on, it shows the owner's name when it boots up, right? Monokuma Why are all these all murders surrounding a before. fucking iPad? <laughs> oh god, is it booting up again? Yeah. Here? Oh no. Really need it. There used to be one. But we took it down for some reason. This can look like start it up, it'll play your name. Always make sure you have the right one. Not Everyday notebooks, it has so many more uses than that. So all we like have God, it's back up again! <laughs> so let's check her handbook. That's what her real name is. Celeste's real name. Do it, boys! An invasion of privacy! I, I refuse to cooperate! Celeste, can you please just tell us what really happened? Please, just tell us. Check. It's just my nature not to give up. Because, 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 chicken? <laughs> Until the game's over, you never know what might happen. Fine then. Let me settle it. Let me go over the case again, from the beginning, and shed light on all your crimes. And that'll bring everything to an end. All right, comic time. So, this all happened because fucking. So, so Act One. There's a fucking. Is that a jingle poster on the wall? No. Oh yeah, yeah, actually that is. Here. That's that photo right there. That's. From Let's see who was who so who would uh, be this, right? Yep. Next page. Alright. Someone locked in. Oh, that nothing. because that's his post when he locks and in. And then Crawley. Yuck! <gasps> um, oh. There was one in the morning. It would be That's gonna be justice. Uh what was it? It was a photo. <laughs> he <actually laughs> looks, he's just vibing in the Yo, back. Yeah, he ammo looks cool though. Uh, Taco? Yeah. It'll be that's four. So Uh, that's be that's before he kills. Him. Yeah, no. The blood is supposed to be on it. Oh, the crystal ball. <laughs> oh, it'll be his watch. Yeah. He <laughs> stopped time. The world, though. <laughs> <laughs> this is the hidden power that he had. All that's how he ran up so so quickly. He could stop time. That looks very suggestive. That. No way. That. Doesn't have the Justice Hammer stuff on oh, it. Oh no, yeah, that's right. And which Justice Hammer is he holding up? He's holding up a uh, four. Yeah. 
full. Could be this. No, but not yet. Keep scrolling it there. What's this thing? Chips. How it goes there then? Oh, we'll go back to that later. Yeah, I'll get just obvious one. Alright. There's, uh. Blood. Oh, when, nope, that's a big one. Backpack? Uh, yeah, oh yeah, Justice yeah. Hammer 3. Yeah, yeah, that would go there. Yeah. Because he faked that. Gojo? Uh... That's... <laughs> this right here. That's him doing questionable things to that trolley. Okay. Then him simping. Yeah. Uh, I think he... It would be... Go back. Yeah, that's that right no, there. No, that's... Yeah, it's yeah. already matched there. It would be this. So now, we only have four left. Which is... That. Uh, actually, this one. So it would be... Yeah, this. backpack? Yeah. Did I miss one? Oh no, maybe, uh... Yeah, I missed one. So... Wait, hold on. Roll through. Oh wait, he was hit with he was hit with justice hammer two first, yeah. right? Or pretend hammer, to be. Yeah. Then must have had to know in the back. Uh wait, go, no, hold on. That might not be right. Let's see if he, he is back. Yeah, no, no, there it is. No, yeah. That one's wrong. So. So then, what would this one? Not chips. It's not that. It's not that. Oh, oh, just hammer four. There it is. Yeah. The killer is you. Me? <laughs> the gamer? <laughs> Wait. Needed someone to help carry out the murder, and that person was. Was able to execute a number of otherwise impossible schemes. Oh. Okay. We guess someone wrong. I guess we did. Right here, yeah. Uh. Not that. So. Not this. Not that. What the hell and what the hell will this be? Maybe something's on run open? Oh, oh yeah. Oh, okay, yeah, okay, that, that makes exactly sense. Yeah, happened. that's kind of dumb, but hey. There we go. First, they convinced someone to meet them in the rec room last night at one in the morning. My hair. Hey man, you, you, you got a weed order? Oh fuck. <laughs> Yo, he went fucking Ozaru, look at him. <laughs> Ozaru, oh jeez, grade 8. Duo intended to pass hero the weed turned him into that. So when they met up with him, they drugged him, knocked him out, and stuffed him into the Robo Justice suit. How does none of his hair seep out through the I was stuffed the hell out of it. I mean, I used to have like a lot of hair in my helmet. Next, mm. and I just had to like pull it back and stuff the hell out of Justice was attacking him. While the killer used a digital camera to take pictures of the assault. That's fucking picture. Yeah. They did Actual all this monk. just to create evidence that would put the suspicion on Hero. When they were done with him, they shoved him, still unconscious, into the pool room locker. Oh. Uh. And then finally, it's six o'clock. Six a.m. It's, it's, they moved into it's the time for my daily ultra day. instinct training. Here I have invited. Saka actually looks really good in this art this one. Yeah, I love how he also has like the little eye like the eye shape of uh, Mondo. Yeah. They called Taka to the equipment room. This is
I was only in training. I only know the last second with my ultra instinct. It's only Omen. The murder weapon was just as Doesn't have full control. Which was left there in the equipment room. The reason hammer number four was used was to create confusion about the order of the crimes. So, next they falsified two more assault incidents. For these attacks, the killers pretended to be the victims to solidify Robo Justice as the suspect. First fake incident with the attack. Oh yeah, by the way, yeah. In the manga adaptation of Bang and Rock, it's actually used Dark Star. Really? For it, yeah. Nice. There, the killers wanted us to see Justice Hammer 1 and the Robo Justice pictures they'd taken. They wanted to make sure we bought the surprise attack store. The second fake incident was the attack in the library. This time, they planted Justice Hammer 2. So oh, neither Celeste or Fumi actually got attacked with the first two hammers. Yeah. With these two incidents, they just faked it all the entire time. Were able to create a certain preconception in our minds that the suspect was increasing the size of the hammers and attacking people in order as they did. We fell right into their trap and started looking for the suspect based on that. But. Yes, please leave someone who got supposedly attacked alone. This yeah. was exactly what Yifumi was hoping for. He took a blood oh. accelerator <laughs> and Justice Hammer 3 and turned the room into a crime scene in which he himself had apparently been brutally murdered. He let out a scream to draw us back, and when we returned, that's what we found. Meanwhile, the other group that had been out searching found Taka's body at the same time. So when we heard the body discovery announcement, we naturally assumed it was for Hifumi. We left the nurse's office, and Hifumi once again took advantage of the situation. He simply got up and made his escape. He had to lift himself. When we learned his yeah. body had disappeared, <laughs> we all went back to the nurse's Just clones himself. <laughs> Again, Ifumi had the chance he was waiting for. This time. Oh shit, I skipped uh, dialogue. Well, anyway. <laughs> he wrapped Taka's body in a tarp and used the dolly to move it all the way down to the repository. That explains how each of the bodies disappeared. But even Ifumi didn't know what the true killer had in mind for their final act. Die, bitch. Their plan all along was to kill Hifumi and get rid of the one person who could betray them. And they did it using an ordinary, everyday hammer from the repository. Yeah, I could definitely kill someone. <laughs> yeah. That should That's a big ass boy. In this case. A whole mallet. And the villain behind it all is. Life champ. Ours. You did. Yes. When was the last time I was forced to utter such words? They hang heavy around my neck. Then you admit it? You're the killer? <laughs> Listen to you, trying to take charge, as if you're my private instructor. I, Celestia Ludenberg. Actually, no, Taiko Yasuhiro is fine. Yeah, that's her real name. Hmm. So, you finally accepted it. Which nobody calls her that at all when discussing this game. <laughs> I don't think I've seen a single fucking person outside of Wikipedia page calls Celeste Taiko. Wow. I mean, Celeste just pulls out of the top. Yeah. Easier to remember. Oh, she missed the feed. 
Interesting. And that's case three. Hey, hey, hey. Uh, 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 <laughs> no, not that video. <laughs> oh shit! Oh shit! My the, the charger. Fuck! That's right. Sorry. Okay, Mama Kuma. Pause here. All right. Take a break before the end times. Before we die. Mm. Yeah. All right. That's a one hour fifteen minute video. Jesus. Extra long fucking video. And the next part we'll see more death. Yes. Yeah.